we have? Oh, Nikki. Come on, I'm not driving tonight. Oh, you got that right. I've already called you a cab. Come on, everybody. It's closing time. Please, let's go. You can go if you want, Beth. I'll lock up. Oh, thanks, Nikki. Okay. I didn't realize how hard living alone can be. It's like I said before, Matt. Women that age sometimes get a little bit crazy, but she'll come back. We'll see. Night, Nikki. What I have to do, Nicole, is I have to adjust to the reality. I, mm -hmm. I, I have to get used to the fact that she's gone. Well, you got friends here, Matt. Come on. Uh, it's not my brand, but I'll drink it. Okay, let's go, please. Oh, Come on, guys. Wait, Nicole, my good friend here. Oh. You're telling me you know, you're buying me a birthday because didn't I tell you it was my birthday? Yeah. 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 Let's celebrate. Come on, Nikki. Come on. Yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. You take that money. You're welcome to it. Please just take it. The bars are full of little guys who dream of being big guys. They know they've got what it takes. All they need is a chance to prove it. A call to action. They'll save the drowning man, go after the kid in the burning house, or rescue the pretty lady from the crazed killer. Then they'll be heroes. Sad little nighttime dreams dissolving like mist in the pitiless light of day. But once in a while, the man and the dream intercept, and a hero is born. The eagle. I come out of the washroom and he's waving the gun around, pushing it into her face. He's, he's got this uh, crazy look in his eyes. And, and then he starts to push her towards the back room. I know I had to do something. All right, just I don't know. He, he, I thought at one point he was going to kill me. And then he, he was dead. And then I kept thinking I should, I should try and stop the bleeding. He was bleeding. I kept I kept thinking. I should stop the bleeding. Okay. Okay. But it just happened so fast. I can't believe it. I can't. It's over. It's over. John. I don't understand. It was self defense. I was only trying to help. Listen, Mr. Semple, I just want you to come downtown and make a statement. That's all. It's routine. Yeah, we'll bring him down. 
question. All right, thanks. Ah, where'd you get that? Emerald Billiard, just like Kevin said. O'Brien! Hey, I'll kill you, O'Brien! You bastard! Someday, when your bodyguards hunt around, O'Brien! I wake up every morning worrying about that. Get him in there! Sorry about that, Matt. What is that? That? That is a Mitch Malloy. Thinks he's a tough guy. Makes his living hurting people. That's the third time Kevin's put him away for extortion. Yeah, in the last six months, the man's been back and forth like a yo-yo. Look, um, I like to do a story about you. Um, you know, who, who's Matt Semple? And where heroes come from? Something like that. I wouldn't have done anything if I hadn't seen the fear in Nicole's eyes. I couldn't let that animal hurt her, Mr. Kirkland. Now, wait a minute. Malloy nearly beats an old man half to death. That's worth a little more time than an hour in the lockup, Elaine. Yeah. And that old man says he fell down a flight of stairs. What? He says he never heard of Malloy. Well, then Malloy got to him, and he's afraid. Witness won't talk? There's no case. How do you think I feel about letting an animal like him loose? All right. What about Simple? Hmm? Seeing we're emptying the cells, maybe we can get him out of here before morning. Bring him in. I'll take his statement. Mm. Be really hard on Matt. He must be some kind of guy. Yeah. Kind you never notice. I don't even know how long he's been coming to the bar, you know that. I I keep feeling that somehow, somehow I am responsible. For Matt killing him, I, I keep thinking that there must be something. There must be something else I could have done or said. Or... He did what he had to do. And it's over. You've got to keep telling yourself that. When am I going to start believing it? I've never heard anyone before in my life. I'm a salesman. I... Uh... I saw computers. I've never even seen anything like that. All the blood. And... It says here there were two stab wounds. Must have been quite a struggle, Mr. Semple. He, he was reaching for the gun. I, I was afraid he'd pick it up and kill both of us. I was terrified. He just wouldn't stop. Well, I was pretty stoned. The guy probably didn't even feel the first cut. Could you step out for a moment, Mr. Semple? Anything else I should know? No, I just think he should get the same treatment that we grant Malloy. Malloy never admitted to killing anyone, Kevin. Elaine, the man has had a rough night. Another two hours in here. We're not going to learn anything new. So send him home. Kevin, how's Nicole? She's okay. I know that. I feel it. Okay, Matt. We are going to send you home for now, but you will be subpoenaed for the inquest. Of course, I understand that. I don't think you'll be having a problem. I'm sorry to have caused all this trouble. Well, you did what you had to do. Now you got to try and put all that behind you. Can I give you a lift? No, I. Uh... It's not far. I can use the walk. Fresh air. Thanks. I don't even have a car.
going to Nicole's if you need me. at a guy with a gun and you see a mustache or a white scar on his chin chip tooth and you wonder if that is the last face that you are ever going to see alive and that is terrifying and nothing prepares you for it the amazing thing about this was that he was just like a little kid. And I was getting control over him. I was telling him how to rob me. I was telling him that. If I just said, um, uh, stop this, put the gun down, he might have done it. How can a life just end like that? Just end like that. Nicky, he's a junkie. He's got a record a mile long. Hey, the monkey on his back calls all his shots. I don't think you have to spend any time feeling sorry for him. I'll never understand how you can live with it, Kevin. You learn to live like that. And you take each day, one at a time. That could have been me. Just as fast. Well, it wasn't you. Now, let's concentrate on that. Didn't you want me to come in and help you clean up? Oh. I'm sorry, Beth. I... Yeah. It's okay, thank you. Well, I still don't understand why you want to do this tonight. Well, tonight, tomorrow, what's the difference? I'm never going to feel the same about this place. Oh, I'm sure you will. No. I'll never feel comfortable alone here again. No, give it some time. Where do you want me to start? You close tonight? Not to you, Matt. Any luck with the witness? Oh, Malloy's got the guy so scared he's afraid to tell us his own name. That leaves us exactly nowhere on this one. Shake a few more trees, Kevin. I get the feeling Malloy's not the most popular man in the world. Maybe somebody will roll over on him. 
Did you check out that computer store where Semple works? Oh, yeah. They're all in shock. They figured in for the dullest guy in the world. Oh, I guess they were wrong. He's got a lot of cubes. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of guys out there who will think twice before they try to hold up today. Most of those guys don't even think once. Let's hope there's no Semple copycats. Why not? Because he's a lucky man, Frank. A couple inches on either side, and that junkie would have been walking out of the bar alive, and we'd be going to a funeral. Any new thoughts? I'm not particularly proud of killing anyone. I'm just happy I was here when Nicole needed help. Otherwise, I'm still a guy who works in a computer store. So, fame hasn't spoiled Matt Semple. Fame? Me? How long have you known Nicole? Just since I've been coming in here. She's always been very good to me. I'd say we were pretty... pretty close. She affects people that way. I mean, before this. Are you, uh... Are you married? Uh... No. Uh, that is, uh, not anymore. Something I said? No, uh, he was married for 20 years and his wife ran off with a kid from the corner store, 17 years old. Oh. Huh. Look, uh, Kevin's gonna finish early tonight. You don't have to hang around. You sure? Yeah, oh. well, I've got Matt and Beth here to keep me company, so. Oh, stay two, three minutes. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Next car, ma'am. We like this one. You're gonna get me in trouble with the other drivers. You'd rather be in trouble with us? No way, man. Malloy's a gorilla. I start asking questions, he's gonna come after me. Then be careful how you ask the questions. Can't do it. I ain't got tendonese. Hey, Key. Isn't there something wrong with that meter there? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's up two bucks already. We ought to get the inspector to come on and take a look at it. Oh, squeeze, yeah. squeeze, squeeze. Do you guys ever stop playing? No, we play for real, Joey. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Pull on over there? Yeah, right over here. I'm not being very helpful. I'm sorry. Oh, you're doing fine, Mrs. Simmel. I, I am glad he's got this attention. But he needed the attention. Well, we all need that, don't we? Yes, <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah, we do. Must be pretty hard for him to be on his own, though. That was his decision. Really? I don't know what he's told you, Mr. Kirkwood, but... Um, I have never betrayed my husband. Then why did you separate? I'm sure your readers aren't interested in that. Well, um, off the record. Incompatibility, Mr. Kirkwood. I guess that's a way of saying he left me. I, uh, I'm gonna go home early, Matt. No, I'll take you. Oh, no, that's okay, thanks. I don't think you should go home alone, that's all. Oh, I'm not. Kevin's picking me up. Oh, that's okay, yeah. I know how it is. I was thinking maybe we could go out sometime. Um, dinner, whatever. Oh, oh, thanks anyway. I'm working here most nights, Matt. And you have to leave time for Kevin. Yeah, he... You know, I understand. I told you. Look, Matt, you've, um, you've had a really rough time of it. Things are gonna get better. You'll see. Carol's gonna realize... Uh, I couldn't go back to her now. I can't even stand to hear her name. Hey. Oh, man. Uh, that's good. Okay. I didn't expect to see you here. Nicole needed the company, but now you're here. I'm just, uh, I have to go. Thanks. I'll see you all later. Thanks, Matt. 
better. Open up the bar tomorrow night. Hmm? Why don't you take the rest of the week off? What do you say? Hmm? Uh, I don't know. I have to start again sometime. Hey, Kevin, there's someone fooling around with your car. Call 911. You wanted a piece of me, Malloy. Well, now is your chance. See how tough you really are. Come on. And you crazy? Get him off of me. What can I do? You really like that car. What car, man? What the hell are you talking about? The car that you wrecked a little earlier tonight. <laughs> man, I don't mess with that crap, man. That's not my style. No, your style. It is your style. You are gutless. Now, come on. Take your shot. It's the last chance you're gonna get. All in my own time, O'Brien. Well, your time is up, Malloy. Come on. We're going. <laughs> come on. Man, I got 50 people who could put me in the Emerald from 7 p.m. on. All night, O'Brien. Check it out. Go ahead, man. Take me downtown. You're just gonna have to cut me loose anyways. I didn't do a damn thing. Yeah, well, you do one little thing. One little thing. And I'm gonna put you away forever. <laughs> hey, O'Brien. I didn't do nothing. And I can prove it. You can prove it. Let's get out of here, Frank. This guy's making me sick. <laughs> Somebody's story has got to check out. I would love to stick it to that guy, you know? He's got 30 guys who'll swear he was in there all night. You know, I heard it, Frank. I heard it. Yeah, well, nobody can keep 30 creeps like that in line. You know? <laughs> if it wasn't Malloy, then who the hell was it? Well, maybe it took somebody's parking spot. <laughs> Any luck with Malloy? Uh, he's got a solid alibi. Which isn't to say that he didn't get somebody to do it. It's not his style, Malloy's the do-it-yourself type. And you know that, Elaine. Just give me one thing, Kevin. One shred of evidence, and I'll put him away for the rest of his life. Yeah. Kevin. This is Carol Semple. Matt's wife. This is Kevin O'Brien, Frank Jambo. There's Eddie, the, the boy at the corner store. But he's only the last in a long line. Line of? My lovers. Um, let me see. There's Ron at the hardware store. Um, the two men who delivered the fridge. I, I never knew their names. Um, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson? I was visiting my sister the, the night he was in town. Well, to be fair, I I, I don't think Matt was serious about Michael Jackson. But you think he may have been serious about the others? Oh, yes. He was always very jealous. I, I don't know why. I, I'm not the sort of woman that men chase after. And um, you told him it wasn't true. It never made any difference. He never believed me. In the end, it, it got ridiculous. Then? Matt and I had a fight, and, and he said that he couldn't associate, live with a whore. Was he ever violent? Oh, no. No, 
nothing like that. Um, angry. Terribly angry and, and frustrated. But he never hurt me. Did you ever give him any reason to suspect you? I never rejected him, if that's what you mean. That part of our marriage was always good. But um, in the last year, he wanted something. Like real life wasn't enough. Like he wanted to live in a book or a movie. Mrs. Semple, why did you bring us this information? My husband's not coming back. I want him to meet his financial obligations. Yes, but this is not really a police matter. I don't care what he says to his friends. But if he's going to tell crazy lies to the newspapers, then I want him stopped. I won't let him ruin my life. I won't. How you doing, mister? Looking for a good time? What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, she's on special. Tonight only. 25 bucks. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Hey, man, what's she worth to you? Just get away from me. see some cash. Leave me alone. <laughs> Sounds like your uh, friend Matt's not such a hero to his wife, Tom. Yeah, it's funny what you dig up when you start digging around in people's lives. I mean, the guy saved Nicole's life, and you're getting all this dirt on him for your column. Well, nobody said it was easy to be a hero. Hey, feel like taking a ride in the cab? Yeah, why not? Hey, Joey, this place is like a rolling dump. It's the maid's day off. OK, I busted my home to get you guys some information. You want it? Yeah, we want it. And in case you were wondering, not that you're interested, this guy Malloy will rip your lungs out. Why don't you tell us something new? Okay, the something new is that it's not just dangerous being this guy's enemy. He took apart one of his pals the other day. Well, the way we hear it, he takes apart a lot of people, Joey. Yeah, but not all of them want to talk. And not all of his pals have something worth listening to. Joey, this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. my apartment, remember? You moved out, remember? I was pushed out. You didn't give me any choice. Oh, let's not start that again, please. It hasn't been that easy for me these last couple of days. I haven't slept or eaten. It's like a... I've read the papers, Matt. You're a big shot. A hero. What do you want with me? I want to talk to someone. I like that, Matt. But I'm tired now. You're too tired to talk. Or are you expecting someone else? Oh, Matt, don't do this, please. I know what you're like. I know what you're all like. Looks like you owed the wrong guy too much money. A lousy two grand. I was good for it. Could have just asked, man. Who did it? Wouldn't be asking if you didn't already know. If you want some help, then humor me. Malloy, Mitch Malloy. Crazy bastard tried to kill me. All right, now, you willing to say that in court? Damn right, and plenty more, too. Me and Malloy go way back. <laughs> I can give you stuff on him. He killed a guy once. You know that? You know a couple of guys saw it happen. 
I think we're gonna get along. Come on, let's go. That's fine. Come on. Yeah. You shouldn't have done this. I was good for it. Swear to God. I'm just going to work, Matt. I thought I could walk you there, safer that way. Well, I appreciate your concern, but I can take care of myself. Thanks. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to talk, Matt. Um, you know, just like at the bar. <laughs> I should have come up sooner. Sooner? I was outside. It could happen anywhere, you see. What are you talking about? The bar. What happened at the bar? I worry about you. I'm afraid for you. You've been standing out in the street? Guarding you, protecting you. <sighs> I love you, Nicole. Are you scared? Should I be? I think love is very frightening. It affects everything, everything you think, everything you do. It's going to affect my business if I don't get out of here. <laughs> that we have to straighten out. Kevin O'Brien. Kevin O'Brien is one of them. So where is he? He's working. Kevin's working. I'm here. He's not. That's the difference between us. Matt, I want you to go. I know why you're doing this. Matt, I... O'Brien is the problem. I understand that. It's okay, Nicole. I can deal with it. Where do you live now? I already told you, 555 Third Avenue. Thank you. Frank. Yeah. Let's go and pick up our pal Malloy. Maybe this time we'll get lucky, be able to nail him for the homicide. Mid-South Carson. Hi, Nikki. Oh, yeah, hold on a second. Kevin! No, sorry, Nikki, I missed him. Any message? Yeah, I'll have him call you. Upstairs, take it easy for a while. Colby Carson, I want you to pick up Malloy. Now. I wouldn't mind picking this guy up myself, if you don't mind. Just stay away from the windows. I don't think we can afford any more damage. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Hey, hey, guys. So that's it. He just left? He told me not to worry about it, that he'd take care of it, and then he just took off. But he seemed... I don't know, he seemed really odd. Huh? Oh, do you think that's the end of it, or what? I don't know. I don't know. You tell Kevin? Oh, well, I tried to, but he was out. Better try again. Look, Matt is lonely. He's lonely and unhappy. Does that make him dangerous, Tom? Dangerous, Nikki. All of us are dangerous at one time or another. <sighs> he used to be just a, a shy, harmless little man. And ever since he killed that guy, he's... He's changed. So what if he comes around again? No, I don't think he will. He embarrassed himself too much tonight. There's no way you're gonna walk away from this one, Malloy. It was a private argument, man. It's nothing. What are you guys trying to pull? 
it is not so private anymore. The complainant is charging you with attempted homicide, and that is just for starters. Looks like you lost a lot of friends here lately, Mitch. I want to talk to my lawyer. Well, you better look for a good one. Because the way I see it, your parole officer hasn't been born yet. After I've just promised to stay. If one third of what this guy says about Malloy turns out to be true, we've got him, Kevin. Not for shooting him, though. Oh, yeah? Why not? He was eating dinner with his girlfriend at the time? So the girlfriend is lying. No, in a restaurant, we checked with the waiter. He remembers. Kevin, we don't need it. We've got enough. We'll be right over. That was Carol Semple. Says Matt broke into her place. Was she hurt? He took a gun. Oh, great. Great. Okay, Freddy, get on over there right away. Find out exactly what happened. Get on with it. Go. All right. Colby? The phone is out of order. This is a recording. Okay, Frank, uh, you want to wrap up this Malloy thing? I'm going over to the bar. Take Nikki home. See ya. you from yourself. of time. Why don't you tell me what you want, Matt? Nicole. Nicole. Don't you think she ought to have something to say about that? Oh, don't give me all that soft talk crap, O'Brien. I know what you're trying to do. Matt, 
I don't understand you, and you're gonna have to help me out. I don't blame you, Nicole. Matt, no one's to blame for anything. You're alone in the world. Somebody's gonna take care of you. Not part of the time, all of the time. If I hadn't been here the other night, you'd be dead. Matt, you're wrong. No, he is right. Of course I'm right. He doesn't give a damn about you. Where was he when you needed him? Matt, you are right. I should have been here. And we're going to talk about that. If neither Tom nor Nikki have anything to do with that, why don't we let him go? Oh, God, O'Brien. You're so dumb. You think you're on top of it. You think you've got the situation under control, but you don't know anything. Right under your nose, and you can't even see it. What are you talking about? These two, right under your nose. Crawling around her. Touching her. Stroking her. That's why he has to go first. No, no don't hurt him, Matt! Please. It's true, isn't it? Matt, I'll go with you. I'll do anything you want, please. You'll go with me? Now you love me? No. You would have loved me. If only I had the time! But, but there isn't any more time. It's, it's gonna end here. I, I, I'm finished. I know that, but I, I, I can't leave it with these two. Oh, God, please don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Please. Our society has an insatiable desire for heroes. If we don't get our fix, we'll create one out of paste and paper. The man I thought was a hero turned out to be just a guy with problems. Sure, Matt Semple was standing on the edge before we came along, but maybe we gave him a little push. The leads that guy gave us on Malloy all panned out. Hmm. He's going away for a long time. Yeah.